In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new page in the team site. I'm starting out here on the home page of my team site, and you can create a page from two places. First of all, you can go to the new drop down here and choose page, or you can come up to the settings wheel and choose add a page. First thing you need to do when you add a page is give it a title. So I'm going to give it a title. And in this header area, you can also add an illustration or an image as a backdrop. So you come over to this button here to add an image. And I'm going to go to upload, to upload a new document. And I'm going to just choose a background. And then add image. Then you can position the image here. And when you're done, you can save and close. Now when I save and close, you'll notice that the buttons around the page have changed. I've now got a new and a send by email button, and I also have edit and publish over here. So this page isn't actually published for everyone to see yet, because I'm still working it in draft mode. So I can carry on editing it by clicking edit. Now I can add new elements to the page by pressing this plus button. When I do that, it brings me up a menu of items to choose from. And what I want to do is split this new section into two. So I'm going to choose two columns here. And in this section on the left, I'm going to press the plus button. I'm going to paste in some text. And you can see I've got uh, the ability to set some styles, change the format, and so on. I'm just going to leave that as it is. And then over here on the right hand side, I'm going to add in a new image. And that's going to take me away to a section called recent images. And you can also see that I can look in the site for an image. So I can go to the image library, choose a, an image that's already been uploaded. And I can obviously upload from other areas as well. So I'm just going to choose this one here, click open. And I can add a caption there as well if I want to. So I'm happy with that page. You can see at the top here also that it says your page has been saved. That just means that as I've been adding new elements to the page, it's been automatically saving it for me so I don't have to. Now I'm done, I can press save and close, and that's the finished page. And then I can publish that page so it's available for everybody to see, and you can see it's published. Now if I want to review the page, there's this pages library on the left-hand side in the navigation here. If I just choose that, it's going to take me to the site pages list. And in that you can see it's grouped by the editor or the author of the page. And you can see I'm actually logged in as Megan at the moment, so I can highlight this. And I've got all the controls on this page that I would have in any normal library. And I can open it up here and continue to edit it. In this video, I showed you how to create a new page and view existing pages. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.